Hello, in this video I want to show you how we can draw a bar graph and histogram by using Excel. Now this is the website of Central Hawks Bay College and on the left hand side if you click on open evening max uh, it will take you to your page and I want to open a spreadsheet so what I've done is I have linked this to a Google Drive so if you click on this open evening spreadsheet uh, the window will open and if you click on file and then click on download this document will open so let's click on that once it's downloaded so it's downloaded so this is the spreadsheet that we're going to work on so enable editing so yeah let's start with this pie graph so yeah let me make this bigger so here you've got the favorite fruit and number of people. So let me center it, looking better. Now let's add these numbers. Okay. So here you can add 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 plus 5 is 9, 12, uh, 12 plus 7 is 19, plus 3 is 22. Now Excel does it for you. So let's write a total here, T-O-T-A-L. And this is a formula. So if you go equal sum bracket and highlight the cells that you want to add, you don't need to close the bracket. If you press enter, it's 22. Okay, so the total number of students uh, or people where the favorite student, uh, the survey about favorite fruit was taken is this. Now I want to use, I want to draw a pie graph which is a very popular type of graph. So highlight the data without the total. Go to insert and pie graph. And let's do the simple pie graph. Okay, so this is too big, so let me make it smaller. Okay, so let me make it smaller. So this is the pie graph. Now I want to add labels to it. I want to see how much percent and what's the number for each. So it says orange is this blue and then you got P here, this red, reddish. This is banana and so on. So I want to add labels to it. So let me make it still smaller. So I also want to add the number and the percent. Hopefully you know how to calculate percent. This is how much percent. So let me show you first how to calculate percent on Excel. So this is, if you want to calculate percent, percentage of people. Okay, so, so percent would be this number divided by total, let me drag up, total, times it by 100. The star, uh, star is for times 100. So this is 13.6, so let, let us round it to a whole number. So right click, uh, format cell. It's taking a while, format cell. You go to number and uh, zero decimal place. So this will become 14%, okay. So let me make it center, yeah. Okay, now if you catch the tail and if you drag it down, it will find the other totals. Oops, didn't do it, so let me do it again. Okay, so this is, okay, so yeah, instead of 39, I should have put 22, because it will not understand, it will go to the next cell. Let me put 22, that's 14. And if you catch the tail and drag it down, to give you the total is 100%, this is 14%, this is 5% and so on. Now we don't need to do this, Excel can put these numbers. Okay, so just click on any of the, any of the graph, right click, add data labels. Okay, so it has added the labels. Okay, so this is seven. So you can drag this out like this. Okay. So this is all out. So if you want to add percent, again, right click, uh, right click, select data, format data labels, 
what do I want? I want percentage. Click check this percent and say, oh, close it. So can you see? It tells you this is, so let me show you. So orange was 14%. So where is orange? Okay, right. let me make it bigger. Orange is 14%. Okay. Orange was the blue one. Yeah, yeah. Three is 14% and so on. So you can do, you can make this smaller this way if you want to. And so this is how you draw. And then you can uh, add, uh, delete this and say this is the pie graph of favorite fruit. Okay, and then you can make this smaller, highlight it, unbold it, make it 11. So, and then you can also drag it up like this. Okay, so this is how you can draw a pie graph, including the percent. Okay, so this is banana is five people is 23 percent. Five people, 23, yeah. Okay, so this is seven people is, seven is for apple, 32 percent. Seven is for apple, 32 percent. Okay, so let's do one thing, the same graph, the same data. Let's draw a histogram. Okay, so yeah, let me make it bigger slightly. Highlight the data, insert uh, column, yeah, and click on the second icon. So this is the this is the histogram. Okay, and then you can add the number and the percent. Hopefully, add data labels. Okay, add format data labels. Does it so? No, it doesn't have the percent in this. And then you can drag it up. So if you want, this is three, and this is one, and so on. You can do that yourself. And then you can change this. This is the histogram of favorite fruit. Okay, and then, and then you can uh, you can remove these lines, GERD lines, if you want to. So this looks a flash. And you can change this different colors if you want to change the color. So let me show you how to change color. So format data labels. You can change the color. Where is the color? Uh, shadow fill. Yeah, solid fill. So you can change the color to different. You can have different Oh, that's this is highlighted. Okay, so this is you can make this flash. Okay, and you can drag this out. Okay, so you can do many things. Make it pretty. You can change the style of the bars. Okay, so play with this, and then you can practice these two. So this is number of eggs. Uh, that a poultry farm had, and this is the practice histogram for favorite sport.